Agricon is the world's leading manufacturer of rugged, reliable, cost-effective and eco-friendly pelleting solutions for agriculture and industry. Today, the advantages of pelleting animal feed by sealing nutrition into a compact, storable and efficient food source are well known. Pelletized feeds provide 30% less wastage and an additional 14% increase in energy uptake through improved digestibility. In addition, livestock spend less energy foraging for food, are healthier and consequently have improved milk production and produce higher quality meat products. But when two brothers, Andre and Johan Ekstjen, recognized the advantages of farm-based pelletizing machines in the early 1990s, there were no mechanical options for small-scale production. Andre, who at the time was servicing large, imported commercial pelleting machines for a local cooperative, recognized that such machinery was way too large, complicated and expensive for a small-scale pelleting operation. He took the problem to Johan, and together the brothers imagined a machine that could add value to farmers by enabling them to save money, reduce wastage or develop a new income stream by pelletizing their own feed at a farm level, while simultaneously being able to monitor the quality of nutrition being fed to their all-important livestock. Andre immediately got to work developing the first Agricon 50, a 500 kilogram per hour pelletizing machine that would go on to kick off Agricon as a global small to medium sized pelletizing machine manufacturer. While Andre continued to develop the core pelletizing products, Johan concentrated on the marketing and financial side of the business while still working a full-time job to enable the small new business to be established. And the first machine was built out of savings and out of you know, borrow and beg and steal. <laughs> Not really steal, but the point was we didn't have money. We weren't funded or anything, and we had to just put one prototype on the market. So it was sold at cost to a customer, and we were running some trials with that customer to see the thing uh, operate and going and to see how applicable it is on a farm. And from there, the demand started. The one farmer started telling other farmers, and we started getting orders. And we slowly, you know, built up our business on our organic growth basis, basically. By 2006, Andre saw a new opportunity to become a 3D design consultant, and he sold his share in Agricon to Johan. Today, Agricon exports to more than 27 countries on three continents and is the global leader in its market segment. Agricon has remained a customer-focused business, as Johan recognized early on that without the correct equipment, guidance and instruction, pelletizing can be a temperamental process to perform. In addition, various features have been designed into Agricon's pelletizing machines in order to avoid customer frustration. A good example of this is the addition of automatic feed controls that eliminate the need for constant human interaction to avoid machine blockages. While many other beneficial product features have been developed over time, Johan maintains that both training and support on the correct use of an Agricon machine is the secret to successful pellet production. It was really hectic in the beginning. Um, I was so irritated with the farmers because I went to Nampu and I put my machine down and they would come and they'd look around the machine and fiddle and then they'd kick it and then they asked me, so does it make coffee? So they hadn't, didn't have a clue of what pelletizing is and where does it fit in or what does a pelletizer do. The change in the market came about 10, 15 years into our existence where the farmers actually started researching pelletizing and they compare value and qualities of those pelletizers and especially on after sales service. But people just know that pelletizing is absolutely essential. You, ca you cannot go without it if you are seriously into animal production. Johan has personally staked his name and reputation on the effectiveness of Agricon's pelleting processes and equipment, a decision that paid off when he was recognized as South Africa's Entrepreneur of the Year in 2016. Furthermore, confidence in Agricon's equipment plays out in the global internet searches where Agricon repeatedly shows up as the industry's most searched animal feed production brand. The Agricon team focuses on producing rugged machines for African conditions, with smart systems for ease of use and long-term productivity. The very first pelletizing machines ever produced by Agricon are still running on farms and in small-scale production facilities throughout Southern Africa today. Such is the ruggedness of Agricon's original South African design, when old machines are replaced through trade-in upgrades, owners often receive more for their machines than they originally purchased them for. Agricon refurbishes these older models at its high-tech production facility in Central South Africa before rehoming them as almost good as new equipment. Luckily my dad taught me from the very beginning that you never think of yourself as a local business but as a global role player. 
So we are quite known all over the world in terms of our technology. One of the best compliments ever when my German agent called me once and said, you know what, he's competing against all the Chinese and German and Dutch machines in Europe and he's been selling so many of our machines because they are so cheap. And I said, what, what do you mean by cheap? He said, no, we tried to copy it and we couldn't cut out the vibrations on our machines that we tried to copy. We couldn't copy your electrical systems. We just don't get to that level of hardiness that you built into your machines, especially at your price, because we can get there, but it's gonna cost us a fortune. So our machines really have a place in the market because they are so hardy and also so applicable in various uh, industries and sectors. Agricon no longer protects its products and ideas with patents, preferring to establish a competitive advantage by constantly improving on existing technology, introducing new innovations and providing exceptional customer service, training and support. Additionally, Agricon's development of equipment that can operate on various kinds of energy sources, including three-phase, solar, direct drive and diesel power, has been crucial to the company's success. Also, a single Agricon pelletizing machine is uniquely able to process feed pellets for animals, pellets for renewable energy, various different kinds of organic materials and even fertilizers. We went and we looked where does our machines really fit in the African market. So we were working with a German company who actually wanted to find a solution to handle tobacco dust in Malawi. So the tobacco dust was a pollutant, it polluted the water. Once the wind started blowing, it blew over the informal settlements. So WWF had a big problem with this uh, tobacco dust. So we analyzed the uh, nutritional value of the tobacco dust and we started making pellets. And we're still the only company in the world that takes tobacco dust, which is a waste product out of tobacco manufacturing. We turn it into pellets and we've got a beautiful customer called Mr. Rafik in Malawi in Lilongwe. And he literally took a huge percentage out of chemical fertilizer markets in Malawi by distributing 20 kilogram bags of tobacco pellets. And the nice story about it is where the maize grew about hip height before it was in seed. I saw maize that was fertilized with tobacco dust that went way over my head and we're carrying three to four cobs of maize on that because you've got a natural insecticide in the nicotine in the tobacco and it's got very high uh, levels of NP and K. So it's a very good uh, natural fertilizer and it builds up the soil status. Obviously you can't use it on tobacco again because of transfer tobacco uh, virus, but on any other crop, it's absolutely amazing. And that's a lovely story to tell people actually. In Agricon's early days, producing equipment that was able to process various types of materials into pellets was critical to establishing the initial market. By contrast, today most users have adopted a niche approach to pellet production, often rapidly expanding in their respective markets and needing to expand their Agricon production facilities as demand increases. Fortunately, all of Agricon's equipment has been designed with growth in mind, and a modular approach to product development ensures that an Agricon pelletizing facility is able to keep pace with market demand and associate increased production requirements. Producing healthy, productive animals is key to running a successful farming operation, and the cost-saving and value-added benefits of pelletized feeds have been proved scientifically. Yet saving money, improving quality and creating business opportunities for farmers is still Agricon's greatest achievement. Agricon delivers within South Africa and worldwide. Depending on the size of truck required for delivery, various per kilometer rates apply for deliveries within South Africa. Exports can be arranged for and are quoted for individually. Agricon installs and prefers to install our equipment as we are then able to train the customer's operators in order to avoid any misunderstanding of the operating principles. We try to keep the installation cost as low as possible in order to encourage customers to opt for this additional service. Agricon supplies spare parts. Established in 1993, Agricon is committed to serving our market with sales, parts and services and all custom-made Agricon machine parts are readily available and can be shipped rapidly worldwide. We also choose our suppliers in such a way that we can refer our customers to them for any more general parts that may be required. Agricon provides after-sales service. As far as possible, Agricon endeavors to be available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week with advice, support and backup services. We have a field services team who are able to assist when needed and we service every South African province on a rotation basis. 
Agricon also readily accepts machine trade-ins when a customer needs to upgrade to larger capacity equipment. To get in contact with us or to find out more, visit our website at agriconrsa.com.